It is 1.30 p.m. right now. It's still day one down here in Florida. I just had a beautiful lunch at IHOPS to make up for the lack of fish for the morning fishing session. If you guys haven't watched the previous video on the channel, I don't know what you were waiting for. I'm going to link it above in the cards, okay? Man, I just had a beautiful salad, a T-bone steak with some mashed potatoes and spinach high calorie good vegetables hp bar is like a hundred twenty percent you know what i'm saying i'm ready for another five hours of fishing so before i ended my morning fishing session i actually went on google maps right and i was just looking for places to explore around the area originally i was going to hit another set of canals in the afternoon but the morning results were so bad I kind of realized that the canals over here are so highly pressured that I've decided to kind of go on Google Maps and just find a little place for me to fish at, which is how I found this pond right over here that you guys see behind me. This is called the Howard Park, and this place has a name also. I believe the name of this pond is the Stub Canal turning basin something like that because this whole thing is connected to the stub canals but hey morning at the canals was so bad that i thought maybe i'm gonna hit the lake system right and there's plenty of cover over here a lot of vegetation i'm gonna tie on some lures try to catch some bigger fish look out for micros pretty much see what is around you know what i'm saying you just never know right Flo the cool thing about florida is that you just never know what is going to happen. So stay tuned because the afternoon session should be hotter than the morning. I kid you not, I just finished doing my intro over here and I already see some other type of chicken that I have no clue what it is. Look at this, these chickens have white heads. This, this, is, this is no mallard, this is no mallard. I don't know what they are. And they, these are no Muscovy duck. And that one just took a dump in the water too that's great man that's great guys you, you guys are doing a great job eating and swimming in front of my fishing spot and taking dumps awesome 10 out of 10. well there is a lot of cover over here so i'm going to do one round with the top water first especially around the lily pads to see if there's some big bass around the area got to love the signs over here too you know warning gators in lakes they even got the spanish version you know advertencia cocodrilo in los lagos guay they forgot the guay here but you get the idea right so so we have to kind of watch out too where i step you know florida ain't all you know nice and easy let's let's get started around this area though wow what is this white flamingos oh my goodness we got we, we got everything here we got the fat ducks we got the white ones with the long legs and the long beaks man florida's got it all what's up homie do you mind if i take your spot i mean please don't jump in there i need to cast around here there may be a big bass at this spot can, can you just go to the right please don't don't jump in there here i'll approach no no that's that's the spot man okay 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 i'll back up i'll, ba I'll back off i'll back off okay i'll cast from back here don't, don't just don't jump bro don't jump don't jump don't jump bro no 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 no. you see see i'm casting from over here okay take it easy man take it easy on me don't spook my fish there's lizards man don't jump don't jump don't jump Man, I don't know what is up. I've been casting this jitterbug everywhere, everywhere. I just did a full round with the jitterbug and I haven't hooked anything but myself just now. This is, this is how sad it has been. I've cast all around cover. I mean, I haven't even seen a single little bass over here. I'm starting to question myself. Like, is there even fish other than mosquito fish in this pond? It is time to change my approach. Hey, it's not like 
I didn't give it a try. You know what I'm saying? I went around the lake over there, spent 45 minutes casting that jitterbug all around the jitterbug and no top water explosion, man. So I'm ready to change my approach of the, for the day. I'm done playing. I switched to the ultralight. As you guys can see, I got the worms with me and I am at this area that connects two lakes. This is actually a pretty shallow canal and I see some fish around here. So it is time to do some sight fishing to see if there are any exotics around the area, right? I'm looking for species of fish that I have never caught before. So anything out of the ordinary is good. What is that? Is that a bass? Oh, there's a bunch over here. They're very finicky. What are they? What we got? Oh no, for real? Did I really snag this dude? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. It is in the mouth. It is in the mouth. Aha! Uh -huh. So we got some cichlids in here, huh? Okay, let's put it in the tank. That is what's up. That is fascinating. You guys see that? You see the vertical bars? You see the vertical bars on this fish? Faint vertical bars, black dot, add the tail. That's a beautiful, beautiful Mayan cichlid, aka the Mexican Mojara, the Maya Hiros Uroftalmus. Oh, I almost stepped on the mud. I'll have to release it from over here, but oh, it went head into the mud first. I'm so sorry, dude. He's got a mouthful of mud, but he's going to be okay. <laughs> it is good to know. <laughs> that was funny. It's good to know that they're in here, though. Uh, another species for the day. That's our fourth species of this Florida trip and I betcha that if they are here there's got to be some other species along these lily pads oh oh the bird just spooked them all dude but there's a there's a school of fish right over here oh yes dude. there's oh there's a major school of fish right over here oh there's one there but it's a little bit bigger. One's coming. Got him. It's another Mayan cichlid though. Yeah, I think this is all Mayan cichlid. There's like one or two bass mixed in between. I just wanted to kind of catch one to kind of show you guys on camera. But there you have it, huh? Beautiful little Mexican mojara. One of the meanest fish around here. Lots of spines on it. So you definitely don't want to get spine by these little fellas. It's small, man, but the attitude on these guys is ooh, nasty. All right, go back where you belong. You know, it kind of dawned on me just now that access on this side really kind of sucks. This hole, that hole, the hole after that, they're all on the other side. Here we got like the lilies, right? So I'm going to walk, man. I'm going to walk this pond all the way to the other side because I saw some bigger bass together with this Mayan cichlid under those weeds. And I want to try to catch one. That is great. Later, people ask me, why is it that I hate waterfowl? Look at that. I was just going to the other side when I actually spotted a school of killifish-like fish right where the duck was at. Now the duck is spooked it, so I have to wait a little bit until they come back. I think they will come back. I should be able to catch one to see what exactly they are. There we go. There we go. There we go. I got one. What is it? Some kind of killifish type fish, huh? What we got? Do I have this species yet? Wait a moment. Let, let, me, let me put in the photo tank. Let me put in the photo tank. This could be new. This could be new. Oh yeah, fellas, once again, hard work pays off. I am pretty sure that this right here is a Seminole killifish, the Fundulus Seminolis. Now you see, I actually caught this species in the past when I went fishing with my friend Fina Fish, Pierce, but I actually removed it from my life list because that trip was so guided that I decided to remove all new species that I caught during that trip 
now that I caught it again, out of my own skills, right? I found the school right over here, I can re-add it to my list. So this is actually species number 266 for me, right? Let me release it over here, but oh man, I gotta tell you, I was starting to get so discouraged here today. So I'm actually quite happy that I was able to find a school of these swimming around. Okay, this is all mud, so I gotta be very careful. Oh, actually here is fine. So just gonna release this little fella right over there. Awesome. And if you have killifish around this area, you just know that there may be some different, other different types of fish, right? So I'm gonna do a little bit more of micro fishing. This is turning out to be quite a cool session now. Once you get one lifer per se, your hopes kind of go up because something different may be around. So, all right, no wasting time. Let's do it. That's what's up. We got another Semino killifish right over here. This time on the Tanago. Just wanted to confirm. I always want to confirm. Are, all, are those all Semino killifish or not? Look at that, looks like a, is this really a Seminole killifish? It looks just like a mummy chog. Nah, it's because of sexual, I'm pretty sure it's because of sexual dimorphism. This is a, this is a Seminole killifish. I see the little dots on the side. I just spent the last 20 minutes over here, micro fishing, and it's all Seminole killifish. I was really, really hoping to encounter like a golden top minnow or like a darter. I don't have the swamp darter yet, so I've been looking very carefully around this area to see if there are any darters, and there are absolutely no darters. So I'm gonna release these guys over here. You see, just swimming off like that. The same no killifish. And uh, it is finally time for me to move to the other side. Uh, you see, folks, there are two, three, like, nice bass in the middle of all these weeds over here but the thing is there are probably so many birds that come here every day that they get so finicky as soon as i hook one of those cichlids the whole population just swims somewhere else so i have to kind of chase them from hole to hole and cast right next to it as stealthily as possible not really the easiest task out there Come on, that was a nice cast. Come on, yes, yeah, something's coming. Got it. Ah, oh, it's not the bass. Ah, oh, the bass was right next to it. Why did you have to get to the worm first, huh? Hutto, hutto. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Easy, Leo. Breathe, Leo. Breathe. This is how this is how multi species goes. You can you can just decide what is going to get warm, right? Dang, that bass was right next to it. Now it got spooked again. What a rough day. I mean, I may have caught five different species down here in one day, but that for Florida is like nothing, nothing. I got a little bit of time left before the sunset. I'm just setting up my rods. I'm gonna go all the way to the other side. You guys see that pipe? All the way over over there I'm gonna go to that pipe right over there and I'm gonna set up two rods I'm gonna soak bait over there for the remaining of the day man hopefully something exotic something cool is going to show up okay you will have to pardon me but this is one of the weirdest things that I have ever seen like this is part of a storm system I understand and you would think, you see the water is flowing from inside there to out into the lake, right? Flowing that direction. So you would think that the flow is just going to stay steady and just keep flowing. But you wait a few minutes and then you realize it. The flow is stopped. You see that? It, it, it stopped. And look at this now. And look at this now. Instead of flowing outwards, this thing it's flowing inwards now what is going on here you see what i'm saying it flows inwards and then it rises up again it flows outwards 
This is real, real weird stuff, dude. Only in Florida, man. Well, all right, this is it. This is the moment of the truth. I got one rod in the water already. Second one is going right next to that pipe. This is the deepest spot that I found around this lake. I mean, this little pond. And I'm going to soak bait here for about, well, until sunset. See if anything really shows up. Oh, got a hit. Got a hit on this rod, finally. It's been down there for a good, good while. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Is the fish not on? I think it is on, a little tiny one. What is this? Wow, bro. <laughs> you know, I can't say that I'm not proud of catching a bluegill today, because apparently over here, bluegill are pretty darn rare. This is a species number like what, six of the day? Ah, oh, that's crazy, dude. Oh, brothers and sisters, this is intense. I'm here soaking bait, expecting, you know, like hoping for some type of uh, exotic catfish or something to show up. First bite, we got ourselves a little bluegill. Look at that, man. Just gonna release it over here. You, you should have seen the face of the gentleman who was passing over here. From the moment that I pulled that bluegill out of the water, the dude just shook his head, you know, and I was with him. I was just like, damn, savage. Oh my goodness, I think I got a bite already. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, not bad. Dude, what is this? This is not bad at all. This may be the fish of the day. What is it? Wow. Oh, it's just a bigger Mayan cichlid, isn't it? Man, I thought it was going to be a, a super nice fish. Nah, just a, just a tad bigger Mayan cichlid. Look at that along the weeds thought it was going to be a different species or or something like that but uh all right let me just re release it here real quick i already got shots of this dude oh the struggle is real why can't i land one of those exotic cool catfish huh i don't know there we have it huh mayan cichlid yay mexican mojara another one i don't know what is the deal with these ducks here at the lake whole day just follow me around the ones with the white head huh been soaking bait out here no catfish man no catfish and sunset is coming i think it is about time for me to call it a day day one down here it wasn't as good as i expected to be i mean fishing's like this you know it's all a gamble right you choose the spots I found this place on Google Maps. I thought, let's give it a try. And uh, I mean, you know, the good thing is that at least I caught a Seminole killifish, right? Added that to my species list again. Uh, the Seminole killifish, the Fundulus seminolis, is actually a species endemic to the state of Florida. So you can't find it anywhere else around the country. But that was really the only positive of the day. We're finishing previous video and this video together one day with only 60 species in one day which is kind of disgraceful in my personal opinion right although i do set my standards pretty high that means that tomorrow's fishing session we will have to go full savage mode man we'll go we'll have to you know put out that inner key you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh but this is it for today folks i am super tired it's time for me to go back to the hotel, get a good night of sleep. Stay tuned for future videos. I'm telling you, man, the next ones are going to be juicy and sweet. You just wait for it, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Tie lines and take it easy. Oh my goodness. In the canal. 
we caught some weird fish that we didn't catch today yet. I was ready to go back to the hotel, boy. And I said, let's come to the canal here right next to the lake. And what did we land? What is this? Some kind of, uh, some kind of tilapia, man. Oh boy, what kind of tilapia is this? I think it is a spotted, I'm pretty sure it's a spotted tilapia. It's got the red here. Uh, let's take a photo and we'll talk about it. This one here, I would definitely need to double check. I am assuming it is a spotted tilapia. Goodness gracious, three rail. Thank you, thank you for the noise. There's something about EPF and trains, man, that is just hard to explain. Every time I'm doing, shooting my stuff, a train passes. But anyways, I took enough photos of this guy. It is time to release it. This is a species number seven of our journey here in Florida. And uh, I guess since it's biting over here, I'm going to fish this place until sunset, you know? You never know, right, man? You land a little tilapia from over here, you never know what else may just show up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa new level right over here another different type of cichlid what what it's been a good while since i caught this one too this is a jaguar guapote man i don't even know how to pronounce its name but that is cool i already have it on my species list whole day i was fishing the wrong i was fishing the wrong place man google maps google maps what's up google maps wow that is what's up dude you see the jaguar guapote got two little fangs down here i don't know how well you guys can see it and it's got a mouth like very crappy wise right last time that i caught one of these was in opalaca opalaca years years ago so this is actually a pretty nice cool catch man that's awesome